Welcome to Worth the War. My name is Kimmy. We're here to help prepare you to love well and to avoid abuse. We hope you'll join us as we're raising our voices for healthy love and relationship in the modern culture. Today, I'm going to give you three areas that we are practicing in our dating relationships that are setting us up for failure. And I'm going to show you how we can stop doing them so we can end up in a better place. The first thing that I did to get ready for this video was to look at studies and surveys on why people wanted to leave their marriage relationships. And what I found was astounding. The same things that we practice over and over in dating are the same reasons people want to leave their marriages later. It would be really naive of us to think that we can practice something over and over again, but then because we write our name on a contract or we give somebody a ring, that all of a sudden all those same tendencies that we practice and those same reactions that we learned how to do aren't going to apply anymore and everything's just going to magically work out okay. That's not what marriage does. Marriage doesn't make everything okay. Let's go back and look at at least three of the reasons that people leave their marriages so we can stop practicing practicing it and we can end up with a marriage that lasts. One of the first things that we can stop doing if you want to have a healthy marriage someday is stop practicing getting into relationships that we're simply not ready for. Pushing things along because we think we have an emptiness or we want something to do is not a good reason to bring another heart into a relationship and actually it's going to be a recipe for disaster later. One of the main reasons people want to leave their marriage is they felt they weren't ready before they entered into it. Why don't we think the same thing about when we date? Let's actually wait until we're ready to build something with somebody before we take so much from their lives. The second thing that we're doing in dating and love relationships today that's preparing us for divorce is we're getting into them for the absolute wrong reasons. Often when people want to leave a marriage, they say that what drew them to the marriage no longer holds. Rather, it's not as important anymore. It doesn't even exist. So if you're getting into relationships because somebody's super attractive or financially secure, or maybe they're really funny, that's great in the short term. But remember that that's a surface thing and that's going to be changing. So when we practice that over and over in dating relationships, how much much harder is it then when we enter into a long-term relationship when things do change and we've practiced for years and years that when things get dry or boring or somebody's original attraction kind of starts to wane we just give up we do that enough times staying is a lot harder the third and possibly the most important area that we're practicing things in dating and relationships that will set us up for failure later is in the area of compatibility. Over and over again in surveys, people said that the reason they wanted out of their marriages was because they were completely incompatible in very fundamental ways. But when we're dating people, we do the same thing. We often will choose people based on, like we said before, things that were very surface. When we're married to somebody and someone has a different worldview, the way that they approach religion or meaning, or they have a very different way of spending or saving their money, different life goals and, and things that they want to accomplish. If they want children, they don't want children. The list goes on and on. And these kinds of incompatibilities can be a death sentence for a marriage. It doesn't always have to be, but often it is. Is it any wonder that over half of our marriages across the globe end up in divorce court? That we find ourselves not able to connect to the person we thought we were going to spend our entire lives with? If we step back and look at how much time we spend actually practicing for for divorce, we might be able to turn that around. This is like a golden ticket to a healthy relationship. If we can look at what makes people want to get out of their marriage, we can then apply that to how we're approaching dating and stop practicing for exactly where we do not want to go. The game plan looks like this. Know that you're ready for a relationship in all the ways that matter. Secondly, make sure you understand what it is that attracts you to this person. Is it superficial or is it the real deal? And lastly, look at compatibility like it is your lifeline. Understand what matters to them so that you know whatever you build on that is not on shifting sand. Make sure that you can articulate exactly where you're going and what you want. That isn't just for you, that's also for anybody else that comes in your path. Leaving people behind that are broken or sad or had expectations that were dashed, that's just not good character. So make sure you're ready to stand up for what it is that you want and you can find a way to say it. I really hope some of this has been helpful for you. Please press the subscribe button below if you haven't already and join our community. We're going to collectively raise our voice for healthy love and relationship in the modern culture and it would be great to have you along. We'll look forward to seeing you soon and thanks again for being here.